Well, hello there. Look what it is. Grand Theft Auto 5. Collector's Edition for the Xbox 360. I got it on the Xbox 360 because my PS3 is perpetually low on hard drive space. Yes, I know you can replace the hard drive, but some of that stuff is... is, um... stuff I can't re-download. So... I only have the one copy of it, and I can't just transfer it off because it's like PS3 data, right? So yeah, I'm just keeping that. So I got it on the 360. Uh, I just picked it up. I wasn't one. I, I ordered it from um, from uh, uh, EB, the local store. So I wasn't able to get it really early, like some people were. So yeah, I just picked it up. Um, I could have gone to the midnight release. My store did have a midnight release, but then I wouldn't be able to play it. And I prefer to record my um, live action videos during the day because uh, better lighting, natural lighting is much better than artificial lighting. So onto this, I don't even remember exactly what's in this. I know there's a lot of downloadable content. I need a steel book case. Let's see if I can get this out. Let's see if it just slides out. Yeah, it was not cheap. It was a uh, hundred and fifty. Um, oh wait, better to do it the other way around. It was a hundred and fifty dollars plus tax, of course. Oosh. Ah, that's nice, isn't it? Let's see, uh, let's see. Just, mm, it's very nice. It's a. Uh, Fairly minimalist. It looks like it's um, burnished metal, brushed metal. Um, so it's actually pretty nice. Of course, it's not actual metal, but it just it, it's dialed to have that look. So it's pretty nice. Opening it, Oosh. and there is the very nice steelbook. I love steelbooks, as you may well know. Uh, Borderlands Two Ultimate. You create edition uh, had it to Ultimate Vault Hunter. Uh, very nice, very nice. Yeah. Let's see, uh, just checking. Yeah, there's the collector's edition pack stuff. Just gonna, yeah, there's a downloadable code. I'm not showing you that for obvious reasons. Let's see, there's a, a map here. There's supposed to be ultraviolet stuff hidden on it, and unfortunately, I have lost. My um, my UV flashlight, so I can't demo it. I've ordered I've ordered another one, but it's not good. It's obviously not here. I only ordered a little bit. Oh, there's a very nice map. It's very big, very big detail map. It's it's almost like um, yeah, it's actually a, a plan type map, not just a regular graphic map, but it actually shows elevation and everything. That's pretty nice. That's cool. And the uh, addition of um, the UV writing on it, that's that's really nice. So I'll try to fold it back up again. Yeah, fold, fold. There we go. There we go. That's always nice that they have little touches like that. Uh, let's see, here's um, the key. That's nice. It's um, pretty solidly built. It's nice. It's got the bite A. It's got the logo on it. Let's see. Take this out. Oosh. Ah. Plastic. Uh, oosh. Separated. And it's the hat. Uh, let's get that out. Um, let's see. Jeez. Trying to get out of that thing. Not sure, I might have to um, cut plastic or something. There we go. Fish. Uh, it's adjustable, which is useful because I've got a bigger head than the average person. Yes. And there's our food. Yeah. 
It's that little um, money pooch, which is what the key's for. Let me just uh, open this. Uh, ignore the crinkling sound. I'm sure it's very irritating to listen to. There we go. It's that usual um, odd glue sealant. It's almost like it, it's meant to be resealed or something. I don't know. It works very well. I like it, actually. Yes, I am commenting how much I like the glue that they use. So yeah, here you can put in a name tag thing there. I don't know how many people are actually going to use these things. Uh, where did I put the key? Yes, there I put the key. I'm going to just move this out of the way. There, can you see that? Yeah, that's pretty good. I've right, got it upside down. There we go. It's actually pretty weighty. It feels pretty weighty. It doesn't feel like it's made out of cheap aluminum. I think it's actually proper steel. That's just good. It feels heavy enough to be so, anyway. The last, the last uh, game I remember that I had a pouch was um, Infamous 2. It had, it had a uh, messenger bag thing. So let's see. Uh, it's not. It's locked now, I believe. Yes. So let me just uh, unlock it. Let's see, have a gun. Right. Yes. There we go, and it pops open. And now you can pull it open. And awesome. That's really. It's really kind of neat. I was, you know, kind of half hoping that there would be stuff on the inside. You know, a little treat. But no. But it's actually pretty cool. I mean. It's this the it's not like somebody can't just stab through the bag. I mean it would be inconvenient. I'm not sure how durable it actually is. I think it's nylon. I think it's not made of nylon. So it it, it would resist can kind of, it's like um pretty thick nylon actually. So yeah, it would probably resist getting cut open. But it's more, you know, the idea behind it. I mean, it's a pretty nice idea for an extra. There we go. You just push down. See? You, you turn it to open, and it stays slightly turned. And you push down to seal it back up. It's very, it's, it's actually a very nice feature. Really. So there's that, and that that's it, really. Oh, I should actually open the steel book itself. Uh, let's see... Carefully opening, because I really don't like scratching stuff. There we go. Thing is, I won't actually be able to play this game until tonight, because it's, it's about time for me to go to bed, actually. I'm late to go to bed. There we go. Yeah, see, uh, as, I, as, I, as I've mentioned before, I'm sure I work nights, so it's my bedtime. I should be asleep now. But I wanted to go pick up the game. And there was a fairly big lineup. Uh, there was like a dozen people ahead of me and it took a while actually to get everybody in front of me. Some people took a really long time. Other people just breezed through within a minute or two. Okay, so here's the two discs. Um, this is the install disc and this is the play disc. You just install the install disk. You don't install the play disk. If you install the play disk, I believe it. Um, the reason why it causes a pop in is because both um, files from each are competing for hard drive access. So it it because it's a 5400 RPM drive, it just can't can't work. But you can install the play disk to a uh, flash drive, and it'll work just fine there. I won't bother going that far. I'm in, in doubting that the um, uh, performance benefits would be all that great. So yeah, the Grand Theft Auto 5, it's just a really short manual. There's a, uh, there's another map here. This is the sta more standard color map. It doesn't show elevations, but it does have a grid, which is nice. And it lists activities, shopping, entertainment, points of interest, local service. This is very nice. I am very much looking forward to playing this, of course. Yeah, it's good stuff. Really. 
I of course like the other map more, not only because it has that UV hidden message thing, but um, uh, because I just it, it also has the elevations, which is a really nice touch. I, I like the kind of classy steelbook insert there. It's I mean, let's see if there's anything under. Oh yeah, there actually is design under there. It's a uh, Federal Reserve System Rockstar Games Federal Reserve System. Interesting. I wonder what that means. You know, I personally avoid spoilers for games, especially games that I know I'm going to get. I really don't like being spoiled. Yeah. So that's it then. It's all the uh, stuff. There's Blint DLC. It's supposed to be on the inside. But I don't know. The collector's edition package as I include the blimp. Not sure. I'm gonna just quickly double check that. Um, yes, yes. I guess the collector's edition includes the blimp, and the regular edition you have to pre-order it to get the blimp. This is an actually uncommon practice, really. Uh, I'm betting a lot of this stuff, will, if not all of it, will be already on the disc. This, and you just download unlock code, which is like hundred kilobyte far. And that's uh, that's about it. You get the steel book. You get this um, key pouch. Um, the key, of course, for it. See, you can see that. Okay, you can see it all. Just try to prop it up a little bit. There. Um, you get the map with the UV thing. You get the map on the inside of the case, of course. You get this hat, which I'll model at the end of the video. Let's see if it actually fits. Uh, I'll need to stretch out a little bit. Yeah, it's way too many notches short. Maybe maybe two notches would be good enough. That's about right. It's not really that comfortable, actually. It's a little bit... It looks like it's, it's meant for somebody with a round head, actually. No, no, not very good design, in my opinion. A bit uncomfortable, really. Yeah, but it folds up real nice. Uh, you get the... DLC thing which includes uh, bonus tattoos and more, stunt plane trials, special ability boost, custom characters for the online. Oh, that's Nico from fourth one. Additional weapons, unique vehicles and garages. Um, I'm not sure if you have to buy the stuff and it's only available in your game but you still have to buy it within game cash. Or if you get it unlocked automatically which would be nice. I mean, it's a hot rod type thing. And of course, fly the atomic blimp. That's very nice, of course. Um, let's see, um, just a little extra. I got, I decided to get the guide. It's twenty four ninety nine or something like that. So, twenty four ninety nine, both in Canada and the US. Fourteen ninety nine in the UK. I decided to get that. I, I kind of collect guides. I don't actually really refer to them much. If I really need help, I usually just go online. It's... It's pretty good. It's got a list of various um, missions. Seems nice. I was actually a little surprised that there wasn't a hardcover guide. I'm expecting that the collector's edition guide, in fact, will be the hardcover guide. Uh, uh, then, um, when I mean, I mean, like the um, game of the year edition guide. After all the DLC is out, maybe, maybe the when the PC and possibly P PS4 and Xbox One. Um, versions release and there's a good probability that the release as you might have heard there's uh, hints of the code for all those platforms um, in the game files so there's a good chance that it will be released on those platforms six eight months from now uh, perhaps all those will release with all the downloadable content from um, the initial release it's a good chance of that I think Okay, well, that's it. You see what comes in the guide. It's a nice little case. So, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've had worse collector's guides. I mean, collector's editions, ha. Huh? Um, so, um, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not regretting getting it, really. Eh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Well, hope you enjoyed watching this unboxing and, uh, Go and play the game. It, it, I assume you'll want to do that if you. Or maybe you're just taking a break. Bye bye.